black limousine with a chauffeur and a school teacher out to Silmar to collect these four seven-year-olds from the Silmar School just so we can chat with them for your pleasure and entertainment. And the first young fellow's name is Jimmy Hamlin. Jimmy's seven, blue eyes, a good-looking sports shirt. And we're going to talk about mothers and dads today because seven-year-olds know more about their mothers and dads than anybody in the whole world. For instance, do you kids know when your mother and father are the happiest? Jimmy, when are they the happiest? When my father goes out to a cocktail party and he has some and he has some scotch and soda. He is very happy. Well, that's a certain form of happiness. Uh, Laura McKee, when is your mother and dad the happiest? Well, when um when we're good and when we go out to some place like the Disneyland to Max Ferry Farm and other places. Uh huh. You're a family that likes to go together. Yes. That's fine. David Carrillo, when are your folks the happiest? When we go to camping and when my brother says his ABC's right. <laughs> How old's your brother, David? Five. And when he says his ABC's, your mother and dad are happy. Yes. Where do you go camping? Um. To Lake Harrison sometimes. Yeah. Boy, that's fun. Donna Lee Richardson, when are your mother and dad the happiest? When, I, when we play ball together, like baseball or two square, and when I'm sleepy. <laughs> when you're sleeping. When you're sleep. How do you know they're the happiest when you're sleeping? I'm not quite asleep yet. <laughs> and if you're not quite asleep, how do you know they're happy? Because I can hear them laughing. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, of course, mother and dads aren't always happy. Sometimes they get unhappy because boys and girls, when they grow up, aren't always angels, are they? Sometimes you do bad things. Who would you rather have spank if you had your preference after doing something bad, Donnelly? My mother. Why would you rather have her spank? Because she doesn't spank. My, she forgets my mother and my father doesn't. He never forgets. Oh, boy. Who would you rather have spank, David? My mother. Why? Because she does not spank hard. Your dad got hard hands? Yes. Yeah. Who would you rather have spanked, Laura? My grandmother. <laughs> There's the smart one. Why your grandmother? Because it, my mother and father always spank hard with the belt. Why the belt? And your grandmother, what does she use? Her hands. Yeah. How about you, Jim? My mother. Your mother, why? Because she doesn't spank so hard. If she's a nice, soft spanker. By the way, what does your father do for a living? He designs. Designs what? Missiles. Missiles. And what are you going to do? I'm going to be a postman. <laughs> now, why do you want to be a postman? There isn't so much to it, and you can read the postcards. <laughs> there isn't so much to it. I love that. <laughs> what does your father do, Laura? I don't know. He doesn't tell? Maybe, I he's, don't. maybe he's in the Secret Service, huh? He, go, he goes out in the morning, doesn't he? Yes. And he comes home at night? Yes. And he brings a paycheck home every month? Yes. Well, then he does something, doesn't he? Yes. But you don't know what? Yeah. Uh, what are you going to be? A teacher. Why? Because I like to give me the words like it. Like cat, hat, cat, rat, sat. In art. Uh, you mean to give them for spelling? You like that? How do you spell hat? H A T. Cat. C A T. Rat. R A T. A art. A R T. Don't get those last two mixed. <laughs> David Carrillo, what do you? What does your dad do? He's a commercial artist. And what are you going to be? Commercial artist. Yeah, just like your dad. And you, Donnelly, your father. He's, he works for the meat business. In the meat business. And what are you going to be? A housewife. What kind of a husband do you want? One that brings me candies and flowers and a mink stole. 